Hello there and welcome to the series of videos going through the content of A-Level Maths. Here we're integrating functions where we've got something else happening inside of the brackets. So we can answer questions from exercise 11b. So in this question here, uh, we're looking to integrate cos of 2x plus 3. So how is this 2x plus 3 going to get involved in our integration? Well, once again, we're going to go back to the rules of differentiation to see what happens when we differentiate so we can do the opposite for integration. So if you remember y equals sine 2x plus 3, then effectively using the chain rule, you differentiate the inside and then differentiate the outside function. So 2x plus 3 differentiates to 2 and cos sine differentiates to cos and you still use the inside function there. So it's only the 2 that gets multiplied to the front. So if we were to have started maybe with a half sine 2x plus 3, then when we differentiate this, the 2 and the half will cancel each other out. So that we're just left with then y equals dy by dx equals cos 2x plus 3. So therefore, as we can see here, if the derivative is this, which is what we've got in our integral, then the answer to the integral of this must be a half sine 2x plus 3. So the answer to this question here is equal to 1 half sine 2x plus 3. Basically, whatever you've, if you've got a 2 inside your brackets that's being multiplied by the x here, you don't multiply the 2 to the front like you would in differentiation. You're integrating, so you're doing the reverse, so you're going to have to divide it to the front. And as we've seen in integration, in differentiation, this 3 at the back that's not being multiplied by an x doesn't have any impact on the question really whatsoever. You just keep it inside the sign or the cos that you're working with. Okay, so there we are. We divide to the front rather than multiplying to the front. Same with this e to the 4x plus 1. The plus 1 is not really going to have any impact on the question. So instead of timesing by 4 like we would in differentiation, we're going to be dividing by 4 um, at the front. So it's going to be a quarter e to the 4x plus 1. What about this one, sex squared 3x? Well, in this case here, um, there is a 3 inside of this top row of the formula booklet here. So instead of timesing by 3 to the front, we're going to be dividing by 3 to the front. So in this case here, the answer to this question here is a third tan 3x plus c. So we divide the 3 to the front in this case. So a general rule you could remember is that the integral of f dash of x ax plus b dx is equal to 1 over a, because we're dividing by the um, number that's in front of the x, uh, f of ax plus b. So we divide by the number that's being multiplied by x. Now in this case here, this question here looks roughly like an integral of 1 over x style question, but we've got something else happening on the bottom here. So effectively, the answer to this question here is going to be um, ln modulus 3x plus 2, but we're not going to times the 3 to the front here, we're going to divide the 3 to the front. So it's going to be a third ln integral of 3x plus 2 plus c. Okay. In that case here, we kind of spotted the pattern of integration being a 1 over x style integral. That will give us ln modulus x. So it's the same, basically, ln modulus 3x plus 2, but the 3 needs to be divided to the front. For the next one here, right, we're roughly following the pattern of the integral for x to the 4. But instead, we've inside the brackets, we've got 2x plus 3. So in this case here, this is doing it a very long way, in this case here, instead of, um, we're going to increase the power by 1, divide by the new power, so it'd be a 5 as the power, and we're going to divide by 5 on the outside, but we're also going to divide by the 2 on the outside, because that's what we have inside the brackets. Later on, when we've discovered a lot more uh, integral techniques, there's, there's going to be a better way of doing this question here. So don't worry if you haven't quite understood that one. OK, have a go at these questions here. Remember, you're just dividing the number to the front rather than multiplying the number to the front. Pause the video and try these questions out.
Okay, so I've spotted here we've got a few in a few trigonometric star integrals. So I'm just going to write out my uh, circle of integration. Cos is it going to integrate back round to sine, but we don't times by the five to the front. We divide by the five to the front. So it's going to be one over five sine five x plus three plus c. For the next one here, it's going to be one over four e to the 4x plus 7. We divide the 4 to the front here instead of multiplying it. For this one here, sine integrates to minus cos. So it's going to be, and then we divide by minus a third. So it'd be minus a third times minus cos 2 minus 3x. And as you can see here, we're going to get a double negative cancelling each other out. So it's going to be a third cos 2 minus 3x plus c. For the last part here, it's going to be cos integrating round to sine. And then we're going to be dividing by this half that we have inside the brackets here. And when you divide by half, you actually times by 2. So that's what we get there. Over to the next set of questions here. We're probably going to need some help from the formula booklet. So there it is. Pause the video and try these four questions out. Okay then, so for the first one we've got a sec tan integral. Now sec tan, the derivative of sec gives us sec tan, so it must be sec as the answer here. And we're not going to be timesing by 3 to the front, we're going to be dividing by 3 to the front. So it's going to be um, a third sec 3x plus c. For the next part here, cosec squared. Now cosec squared has a negative in front of it, so if I want to make that a positive in the front, I have to have a negative integral. So I'm going to get minus 1 over 4, because there's a 4 inside the bracket multiplying by the x, times by cot 4x plus c. For the next one here, we're going to treat it like an integral of x to the power of 7 dx. So I'm going to increase the power by 1, increase the power by 1 to an 8, divide by the 8th at the front, but I also need to divide by a 3 at the front as well because there is a 3 inside my brackets. So it's going to be 1 over 24, 3x plus 4, all to the power 8. If you don't really like that method, do not worry, there's going to be a different, a different way and a better way of doing it later on in the um, chapter. For the last one here, sec squared integrates to tan. We've already got a half at the front, but we're also going to need to divide by 5 at the front. So it's going to be 1 tenth tan 5x. So there we are. That's the answer to this set of questions here then. So have a go at plenty of the questions from exercise 11b. And really, it's not too much more harder than the previous section. All you're doing is dividing by the number that's multiplying by x on the front. And if you've got a number that's just being added on as extra, just ignore it. Thanks very much for watching.